Hello folks, it's getting kind of late. I'm about to finish another object, this time the Heart Nebula. It's just going to be a quick video this time though because I've done this object before and I have another YouTube video on it, but I think I can do it better this year. I, I've got a few more tricks up my sleeve. I think I can process it better, uh, capture more hours on it, and uh, hopefully it'll be another one of my once and for all objects. We'll see, but let's take a look. Okay, I am in the home stretch of the Heart Nebula, and this is another 20 plus hour project. And um, I'm actually finishing, um, I just finished capturing SH2119, which you've probably already seen a video for, by the way, because I'm going to process that one first. And in the same night, I'm going to finish. The Heart Nebula, two in one night. I like that. The first half of the night was for um, SH2119, and the second half of the night was for the heart. And uh, I'm, I'm in the home stretch. I'm doing oxygen. I've already captured all of my HA and sulfur. Oops. Uh, let's see. Where did that go? I I can already see in, in a single sub. There's some pretty good data. I can see data in the, the fish head here in the center where that star cluster is, and even even on the inside of the heart. So <clears throat> I, I, I'm liking this so far. I've done the heart before, though. Um, and uh, last time I did the heart, it was around 12 hours, and I was never really happy with it. So I thought, you know what, I'm, gonna, I'm going to uh, um, do it from scratch. I'm not going to use the old data, because it probably doesn't even have the same rotation anyway. And I'm going to go 20 plus hours and then see if I can do a little bit better this time. The only thing is, and I, I, I can't believe I did this. Um, let's close this. <laughs> I, I, where is it? Let me look at the HA for the heart. Where is it here? Heart HA. Let's look at one of the frames. I didn't frame it the way I wanted. <laughs> And it, which sounds crazy. How could I do that, right? I I thought it was good at first, and um, well, let's flip it and get a better look at it here. I thought it was good, but it seems like it was a little bit high. And by the time I I, I looked at it more closely, I thought, uh, why didn't I scoot it down? I got a lot of empty space here. I should have moved it down because there's some stuff that goes off the screen here. So. You know, I, I wasn't that far into it. I could have just stopped and restarted. But, you know, oh well. It, it is what it is. I'll, I'll make the best of it, but I think I could have framed it better. Let me put this back to the way it was. Let's take a look at guiding while I'm, I'm here. Guiding is 0.93. You know what? It's, it's been like this all night. Um, maybe I just didn't do a good polar alignment. I don't know. But I, I've seen it way better on other nights. So uh, I think that's all I've got to share, folks. Um, uh, yeah, my second object tonight. So I'm still cranking out, still cranking out pictures. And uh, my other rig is capturing a super, super faint object. But it's going to be cool if I can do it right. I don't want to tell you what it is yet. I just have to wait and see. But it, it, it might turn out to be one of my favorites, I hope. So anyway, and we'll see how this one turns out. I will see you later.